Some things just can't be proven. Like the time when I kicked a piece of chewing gum about 20 yards into a bin. Although I do have KSI and Randolph as witnesses. Actually, maybe that was on the CCTV camera. Anyway, these things that we're about to see have been captured by CCTV. So they have been proven. So realistically, that whole intro was... I mean, there was no point to it. I just wanted to get it out there that I kicked a piece of chewing gum. I spit it out. Bro, I literally said to them, I was like, oh, how much would you give me if I spit this out? Volley it into that bin over there. Randolph said 100 quid. JJ said like 10 grand or something. I did it. And they made the deal that they just have to preach this story whenever. All right, enough waffle. If you don't know why surveillance cameras are needed. And here's a sinkhole forming. What? Sorry, this video has seven and a half million views and the intro is not even right. Like they literally just cut it off. Look. You don't know why surveillance cameras are needed. And here's a sinkhole. What do you mean? And here's a... Nothing has happened so far. What a weird intro. Here's a sinkhole forming right in the middle of a road. What's so unusual about it? The only time you went swimming to the pool that year. Oh my. How is that so clean? Nothing else has fallen. Literally just the floor. Oh, when it's messed up. The garage. Oh, uh, it's a car wash. What is there to say? At least the car got Clearly washed. a professional. <laughs> <laughs> e. <laughs> Have you ever seen it raining fire? No, wait, wait. What is that? This happened because of a lightning bolt that struck a metal roof and melted the metal. Bro, imagine how scary that must be. Would you drop the umbrella? No, I guess you wouldn't. I'm trying to think if, if you have the umbrella, obviously, you're protecting your head, but you're also creating more to set a light. I don't know. I just run. What's happening here then? They're in a shop. When you steal a phone, but then notice the CCTV <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that face. He knows he fucked up. Imagine if the guy gave him a reward. The guy thinks, oh, he's been so nice. He returned my phone. He could have stolen and that. This delivery driver was in oh, no. such a rush yep. to collect the order that... Always happens with the glass doors. When you steal a used handkerchief uh. from a phone, perhaps that's how the uh, she blew her nose. Oh, it'll be all squelchy. Like, like imagine you think, oh, I'm gonna steal a phone, and then uh, imagine if this person did the same thing. They like grab it off, drive a little bit, and then realize there's a camera and that they're also holding snot, and then just go back and go, oh, sorry, I had your handkerchief. And this gas station worker politely requested that you don't smoke on the premises. All right, that is a bit overkill. Don't smoke there. Don't smoke ever. But you could have just sprayed them once. Like, I've been sprayed by a fire extinguisher. I don't know why. And you cannot breathe. So look. Smoke on the premises. And stop. You're still going. What should you do when you're about to get robbed? Well, if it happens at a gas station, you should check out this sensational oh! self-defense technique. Yo. That Donny is smart. How are you going to rob someone when they're literally pouring gas over you? Although you did get it all over your own car, which is kind of dangerous. But fuck these guys. I love how he just keeps spraying it as well. Although he's going to have a huge gas bill. Have you ever seen anything like this? What is happening? Was that a sinkhole? That's the smallest, most inconvenient sinkhole I've ever seen. And in a Manchester office, something or someone likes to open filing cabinet drawers and tossing papers around. A poltergeist? We're not sure. But it doesn't look like a fake either. What do you think? We're gonna We're gonna just brush over that. We're just gonna casually brush over the fact that this is like signs of a ghost. Okay, we'll we'll move on. Show me the hog. And this wild hog burst into a restaurant to check out how it works during quarantine. Tough guy. Yo, let yo chill, bro! Oh my god, this hog is going wild. Trying to free his brothers. Oh! The owner of these huskies ordered them to pick up the takeout from the delivery driver. Does it give a tip to... Oh! <laughs> you got the door slammed on you by a husky. Working with people can be taxing. Especially <laughs> with characters like this one. And this person can't open the door. Oh, don't go over. Come on, give it a don't push. Don't go over. Come on. Is it a push? Thanks, oh my god. Bro. 
Oh my god. Oh my. They didn't even know there was a security camera. That's happened to me before. I hope I'm not on a montage somewhere doing that kind of thing. I've done that at hotels and I've literally gone and asked for help. I've gone, oh, the door's not open and my card's not working and they just push oh, it open. Drunk guy came in for another drink. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Happens to the best of us, oh, I guess. Don't tell me there's more. It's scooted when out. did the train platform start getting confused for a catwalk? Right. This elevator nearly killed <gasps> me. No, 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 don't put your hands away. To rescue the dustpan and brush, kindness will save the world. Oh, that was terrifying. Why is it going up already? Although the fact she's tripped is pretty stupid. This is what I learned from Harry, though. If you're going to go for an elevator, you have to jump two feet into it. That's the only way to, like, make sure you're safe from the door and the floor, etc. This drunk was kicking down the door for three hours, not noticing the release button. Oh. And that time, a rat even managed to easily... Oh. Uh, you're letting the rats in. Three hours of kicking down a door. Oh. Oh, he's Finally. pissed. Oh, he's pissed. Literally, in both ways. The woman in the long skirt. Okay, we're watching her. Seriously? We wonder, what else can she fit under there? Sorry, how's that, how's that happened? Sorry, that is a heavy item. Seriously? We wonder... What else can she Sorry, do? how's this? Is this something I don't know about? This girl realized she was about to get robbed, but didn't lose her cool. Nice. Oh my god. Oh wow. Wow. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Some people are so smart when they're about to get robbed, you know. Other people, dumb. Someone's standing there. Oh, what's the time? I like your watch. I like your watch. Oh, it's uh done. You're gone. I thought I was so sure this was going to be about the dog. Uh, she was about to get Look robbed, at that. About to get robbed. Lose her cool. Yeet everything over. That is so... Although, the fact that she shut the last one over, like, he's already run away. Like, he's running away. And she still throws something over. What has she thrown over there? Look how masterfully this express delivery driver is escaping the police. And he managed to do it eventually. Yo! How do you stop someone on a bike? Because they can do whatever they want, really. Like, he can literally just turn around. Like that. He's, tur he's turned. When your food leads a more adventurous existence than you. And he's gone. Just imagine the shock of these drivers when suddenly a train started crossing the motorway. Okay, but surely that... Are there not train tracks? Strange that it didn't take off like this one. Okay, we don't this need those extra graphics. Oh, here we go. Flat screen TV, so he was reasonably upset. Oh my it's God. Successful car theft. Couldn't start the car, but at least he got to sit in a Porsche. What? Just randomly showing a thief and then you you chuck up Cabby. Is that how you said his name? Cabby? Oh man, that guy's just ruined the roof for no reason. He didn't even get the car. There's dickheads in this world, you know. Look how hard this person is oh, working. Oh, this is satisfying. No, 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 no. The store is closing in one minute. And right. the store assistant is trying to kick you out. But <laughs> you're not so timid yourself. Bruh. Sorry. Someone's just slapped a bear's butt. Why have you slapped a bear's butt? What happened? Really How did you get rid of the bear? This video is just leaving me with suspense the whole time. Crashing down. But he got okay. lucky. Eee. That's strength. Core. Arms. How high is that? That's pretty high. And the owner of the say, store decided to teach the burglar a lesson. Trapping him inside. It's like a horror game. Horror game? It's like a horror movie. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, uh, that one's budging. 
If only oh, yeah, you put no, yeah. this amount of energy towards looking for a job. Why does he keep changing the door he's going for? I actually love, love when that happens, you know. When like a burglar or a thief or something like that. When they, they don't just, you know, it's not just as simple as, oh, they got caught. They get put in like a mini game where it's like, oh, you know, for the next couple hours, I fucked it. That's quite sadistic of me. I know. That's weird. Maybe not. Maybe I don't like it. And this is an accidental backflip. E! Did he say backflip? And this is an accidental backflip. Probably the most forward flip you could ever do. How was a car ended up in a shopping mall? The only way I'll go shopping with my girlfriend That's is bougie, like though. But seriously, what's going on here? Oh, that's bougie. Oh, that is bougie. What possessed this young woman? That's Shakira. What's going on? You sure she's not practicing like a new TikTok dance or something? Leave a comment with a time code of a moment that surprised you the most. All of it, mate. If I'm being honest, all of it. They're all weird. Someone slapping a bear's butt is probably up there. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you guys for watching. I will be back tomorrow with another video. And uh, see you then. Peace.